Hello and welcome back. There's a reason why you've seen so many pink coffee cups entering into coffee competitions and it's not because pink is making a comeback. My name's Liam from The Basic Brewster. We're an online coffee equipment retailer here in Melbourne, Australia. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about pink coffee cups. When it comes to drinking coffee, there are so many different variables that determine how your coffee tastes. The way that your coffee is processed, the varietals used, where the coffee itself is grown, how your coffee is roasted and brewed, all contribute to how your coffee tastes. But after all of this, you can still enhance your coffee post extraction. And recently this year, we've seen a wave of coffee tools all exploring this area. And in fact, one of these post extraction coffee enhancers are actually our coffee cups. And in fact, one of the reasons for this is that drinking from a pink coffee cup can increase perceived sweetness by up to 20%. And yes, we've got the article down in the description if you wanna read the entire thing. So now let's dive into these two cups here. First up is the Origami Sensory Cup. This is an incredibly unique coffee cup. It has a thin lip, a wide mouth, and a very unique shape to it. It's quite comfortable to hold in a number of different ways, um, and it feels quite hefty when you're holding it as well. They hold 300 to 350 mils of liquid, and they're made from the same Minoyaki porcelain that the origami drippers are actually made from. So it's that lightweight, durable ceramics. And one thing I do love about this cup is that the mouth itself is actually quite wide, allowing ample room for you to stick your nose deep into the cup and assess the aroma while you're tasting the coffee. The second cup that we have here is called the Knee Wears Cup. As you can see, it's a very similar shade of pink to the Origami Sensory Cup, but the shape of this cup actually emulates what you'd see in the top of a wine glass that holds your wine. And both of these cups have that really nice, smooth texture. What makes the Kneewear cup incredibly unique is that around the lip here, we have a varying thickness. And this is resembled on the sides here where we've got the two lines for a thicker side. And on the other side, we've got one single line that represents the thinner side of the cup. The thin side of the cup is four millimeters thick and it highlights sweetness and acidity. While the thick side of the cup is around seven millimeters thick and highlights sweetness and mouthfeel. Now, Niwares actually got their name from Ni, which in Japanese means two. And that's because you can experience the same coffee in two different ways from the thin or the thick side of the cup. And because there isn't a correct way in how you hold or drink from this cup, you can actually drink in between these two points and experience your coffee in a completely different way. So as we see more science being conducted, coffee professionals exploring and pushing the boundaries as to how far we can actually make coffee taste better. We're going to see more and more coffee tools being explored and introduced into the markets. And it's super exciting to see that process from competition all the way into a product that you can purchase and bring into the comfort of your own home. One thing that I did wanna note when it comes down to post extraction uh, coffee enhancing tools such as these, they're only going to enhance your coffee. They're not going to make those massive changes that you can have when it comes to processing, varietals used, uh, coffee roasting. These are monumentally more effective on coffee and the results of what that tastes like compared to the cup that you then experience that coffee from. That's it from me today. Both of these products are available on our website. If you've got any more questions about these cups in particular, drop a comment down below and I'd love to hear your thoughts on post-extraction coffee enhancing tools. That is such a mouthful to say. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe to see more content like this. Thanks so much guys, we'll see you in the next video.